right now I'm headed toward downtown Greenville where the Upstate Winter Bicycle League. It was the Winter Bicycle League, the Upstate Winter Bicycle League. There weren't nor as many people. Uh, we were going about 105 miles today. There were a lot of teams out. Here we see Global Bike. Here's my little riding buddy to remind me to just keep it fun. Then we headed out on a beautiful day. A little chilly at first, but it ended up being like a spring day. Heading out of town. My idea today was to follow the Hincapi development team. So I spent my time uh, looking for those guys and trying to get them on video. Going toward the front, finding them, going back in the back, finding some more. Uh, then finally, uh, up toward the front after getting these guys, we had the accident and Chris Miller and Jim Cunningham went down, confused the group. Here we were stopping, waiting, trying to find out what was going on. And as we were there and more riders came up, that was the B group going by. We turned around and headed back toward downtown Greenville and came upon the group. Uh, that was me seeing Chris Miller down on the ground in that group. But Boyd Johnson had decided he was going to go to the watershed. You can see where we're headed out there in the distance. And a lot of the guys with the Hincapi development team, at least those in the A group, decided to follow him. So we headed through the rolling area around North Greenville County. There again you can see the ridge line in the distance. We're getting closer. I was able to stay with them pretty well during this time. Uh, even did some pulling on the front. Thought, hey, this isn't so bad. Going by North Greenville, this I guess becomes the traditional starting spot for going up the watershed. Here we've crossed Highway 11. These are some of my favorite roads. On that Saturday morning, we had hardly any traffic uh, that we had to deal with. But after getting up and starting the watershed, bad things start happening. Well, here I am somewhere in the Greenville watershed. I'm ashamed to say that for the second week in a row, I have been dropped. This time, by the young whippersnappers of the Greenville Hemcathy development team. Ooh. Oh, that's embarrassing. But I'm getting a good workout. I did catch them at the top when they stopped, and then on the way back down, I couldn't get my helmet on correctly with the, the helmet cam. So they got ahead of me. I ended up going down alone. I did catch them um, because they waited and then that night we had the camp meeting for the weekend. Here they saw their kit. Steve Baker and some others uh, made presentations to them. Then they broke out the equipment. Some shoes. Some helmets, shades. Now, they'll never use their arms any more than they do with we. Then the next morning, uh, they headed out. I gave them the camera. They tended to goof up a little bit more when I wasn't around. They were on a two-hour ride that would culminate in a time trial up Paris Mountain. Here's the entire group coming by. By the way, Chris Butler did the climb in nine minutes, five seconds. Fast man, AJ Meyer. What's up? What's one of your big goals for the year? 
win a big race like Fitchburg Nationals, State of the Bitterby, make a big result. What's one of your goals for the year? One of my goals is to make the national team and try and go over to Europe for some races. And also a great deal of category too. Fast man, Blair Turner. <laughs> what are you going to do this year? Hopefully win some big races. Hopefully. Oh, this is, is this a medium test? Hopefully. No, uh, I'm this is like the softest you've ever talked about it in the entire world. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm going to win some big races. What are you planning to do this year? What am I going to do today? We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Called nine minutes? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> We're being sponsored by the good clothing you think have a sports wear. Exactly. We're going to be on some amazing strand red components that you can see over there. Hi, Remar. We're going to be on Scott bicycles. Euro lids. Uh, got the Oakley shades. Oakley. Got the North Wave shoe top. Ah, uh, shoe cover. Team Meyer here, the U.S. national team. AJ, what would you like to tell us about this race coming up? Man, it's going to be hard. I'm out of shape. Yeah, it's hard. AJ Meyer from Dalton, Georgia. Everybody, thank you. Uh, Waxhaw Turner from uh, Waxhaw, North Carolina. Yeah, uh, what's your what's your feelings in the race today? What race? Um. Yeah, you're about to do a time trial at Paris Mountain. Cynthia, <laughs> um, I'm just curious, other than riding bikes, who's the best driver on Team Hincapie Development? Christian Perez. Thank you, I, I agree, he's a great driver. Um, well, the uh, Inferno Racing Mozzie was running really well today. Uh, our Michelin tires were dialed in really well and allowed us to corner. We had a little trouble during qualifying, but we put some wedges under the front end and tightened her up a little bit. So i just like to thank all the boys at the shop. They did real good work this week. Uh, next week we're going to come back out and uh, try to tune her up and maybe give the uh, Team Hincapie giant, piloted by Chris Butler, a uh, run for his money. But i just like to thank Inferno Raising, Mozzie Bicycles, uh, Pinned Tires presented by Michelin, uh, SRAM Components, uh, Core Bars, Cell Italia Saddles, and uh, all our other sponsors. And uh, we're just proud to have a uh, Really uh, putting a good ride in the uh, Hincapie Sportswear Paris Mountain Cup. So she just named all the sponsors wrong. <laughs> wrong. <laughs>